and welcome back to my channel. My name's Eva and today I will talk a bit about the Gibson SG and why you need it in your guitar collection. This will not necessarily be a video where I just list five reasons why you need this guitar and that's it. I will rather talk a bit about history behind it, the design and some other facts making this model so special. So SG is one of the most iconic guitar models ever made. It's a solid body electric guitar introduced by Gibson in 1961. Gibson admits the SG is the best selling guitar model of all time and it was never discontinued. So let's talk a bit about the history behind the SG model. It all actually started with the Les Paul. The Les Paul model was born as a direct competitor to Fender Telecaster and it was introduced in 1952, designed by Les Paul himself. For some time it was selling well, but in 1962 the sales were going down and the figures were pretty bad, so Gibson had to do something about it. And they decided to drastically redesign the Les Paul, being in need of a guitar that could compete with a Fender Stratocaster. This resulted in the SG being born, designed by Ted McCarty, who was also responsible for the development of such guitar models like Firebird, Explorer or Flying V, as well as the Tunomatic Bridge or a Humbucking Pickup. When the SG was first introduced to the market, it was named the Les Paul. In 1962, the contract with Les Paul ended and he didn't even have anything to do with the design of this model. So in 1963, Gibson renamed this model to the SG as we know it today. The name is pretty self-explanatory because it stands for the solid guitar. Over the years, Gibson came up with different variations of the SG model, coming with different pickup combinations. But when it was first launched, there were four versions. The SG Standard with two PAF humbucking pickups, the SG Junior with one P90, the SG Special with two P90s, and the SG Custom with three PAF humbucker pickups. Originally, the SG featured the small pickguard, but in 1967, the so-called Batwing pickguard made its first appearance. So as we're talking about the design, the SG has a thin, flat-topped body with a double cutaway resembling the horns of the devil. It's almost entirely made of mahogany. The neck joins the body on the 19th or 22nd fret, which allows you to easily reach the highest notes on the fretboard. The neck of the SG is often called the fastest neck in the world, thanks to the fact that it's extra thin and very easy to play. SG features a tunomatic bridge, a wraparound bridge or a vibrato piece, depending on the exact model. SG standard has a volume and a tone control for each pickup and a three position switch, allowing you to, to pick a certain pickup or a mix of both. The SG is a pretty light guitar, much more lighter than the Les Paul, mostly because of the smaller, thinner and more contoured body and the lack of maple top. SG is a more affordable option too. It's very comfortable to play, it feels like thanks to its shape, it fits just perfectly on your lap. But it's also very comfortable to play while you're standing, thanks to the fact that it's pretty light and it doesn't make your shoulders or your back get tired quickly. Unfortunately, the SGs tend to be very neck heavy, so it leads to a lot of neck diving. So you have to be careful when having your SG on the strap or from my own experience when putting it on a guitar stand. So now let me grab my Gibson SG standard and let's play some riffs.
me personally, the SG is and will probably always be the main guitar of choice. I have my 2012 Gibson SG Standard and I love it very much. It just feels like it's the perfect guitar model for me. It's very comfortable, it's actually the most comfortable guitar model I've ever played and I also love the sound of it. Over the years, SG was played by so many influential and legendary guitar players including Angus Young, Derek Trax, Tommy Iommi, Eric Clapton or even Jimi Hendrix. The SG is mostly associated with rock music, but it doesn't mean it isn't a great choice for other music types too. So that's all for this video, big thanks for watching, I hope I convinced some of you to get a Gibson SG or to at least try it out in a music store. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also follow me on Instagram for some guitar photography and other content. See you next time, bye!